Hey guys, so today we're gonna go ahead and start with our warm up. It's gonna start with 10 deadlifts. Nice flat back, extend it all the way up, right? From there, you'll hit 30 seconds of a plank hold, either full extended or on the elbows, either one, 30 seconds there, and then you're gonna get up and go on a 100 meter jog. That's a five minute AMRAP for your warm up. Then after that, we have a 12 minute EMOM for our strength today. It's gonna start with 12, or excuse me, yeah, 12 hang power cleans, right? So if you have your dumbbell, it depends on the weight and the load. So if you need to increase uh, the reps, for the, for the minute, that's fine. If it's a lighter weight, if it's a heavier weight, and 12's not happening, then decrease the, those reps, right? So from the hang, right, you'll drive it up, stand it all the way up. If you wanna switch arms each rep, that's fine, or do six and six, it's up to you. Now, if you're using a, a slam ball or a sandbag, in the middle there, deadlift it up and then go to the hang, and give me a little power clean there, all right? So it's 12 of those in that first minute. In the second minute, it's 12 shoulder to overhead. Same thing guys, just watch your reps. If you need to go a little, a few more reps or a few less reps, that's up to you. You're gonna have to gauge it, okay? So dip and drive, push press it overhead, dip and drive. If it's too light and you need to go into that strict press, then that's fine too. Six on one side, six on the other side of those. And then I'm giving you your option of cardio for that third minute. If you watch the video, you'll see I did all different types of cardio for that last minute that didn't involve running or a machine. So uh, if you have any questions on that, just ask us. Then you have a 15 minute AMRAP guys of a 400 meter run and you have one complex. Today, that complex is 12 deadlifts, nine hang power cleans, and six push press, right? So the deadlifts, just again, it's kind of up to you, right? Go deadlift it up. From there on that last deadlift, you'll go into that hang power clean. You'll do nine of those. And then you'll push press it overhead. If you're using a slam ball, be careful, it'll get slippery, trust me. Uh, then, we have a nice core finisher from there, guys. It's gonna start with 30 seconds of flutter kicks, right? We all know what those are. Give me 30 seconds of flutter kicks. Then you're gonna roll over and go 30 seconds of Superman's, a back extension, basically. So your hands are gonna be out. Lift your hands and your legs full and squeeze the butt and then back down. 30 seconds of those. So, 30 seconds of flutter kicks, 30 seconds of supermans for five rounds for that core finisher. Guys, let us know how it goes. Have a great day.